Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah, dear students, most welcome to Triangular Kamal Academy. I welcome to all of you in my assignment solution class. In this content, we are going to write down the solution of class 10 math assignment 2. And this is fourth week math assignment and this assignment for the students of English version. So dear students, uh, there is a one questions, uh, total mark here 13 and the questions content here four part. Question number A, B, and C. There is a stem given here. Before starting the assignment answer in the cover page, you can write down about the assignment like class 10, math, assignment number two, academic year 2022, assignment uh, on chapter two. Then you can write your information like your name, your section, your school name. Then in the first page before writing the answer, you can write down the assignment title. And here, this is the long assignment title. You can write down this. And if possible, just print the question that attached with your answer. Or otherwise, you have to write the question, full question up to last, then start answer writing. Without question, actually assignment is not proper 100% okay. And in the assignment, both question and answer you have to submit. So it's maybe easier to you if you print this PDF file and then attest with your answer. Okay. Now, the first information, the relation of algebraic expression, Kalin Chakma, a student of class 10, has made a set A by the factors of 12 and has guessed a point or guessed a number P, which is greater than one. And if one is added with the square of the point, then the sum will be two root over six times of P. That means this information is given. And by using this, we have to do successively four questions. First requirement, show that this one. Okay, guys, uh, here you can write, uh, given that the number is P, just one number uh, he took, and that is the P. According to the questions here, we can write, uh, the, the one is added with the square of the number, and the result will be two root over six times of P. And now in the second step, dividing each term individually divided by P. That means left-hand side, all terms and right-hand side, you can divide by P. P squared divided by P, this is P. And P divided by P here, this is remaining same. This is our requirements. Very easy and simple question. So now uh, first question, okay. I can, we can see the second questions. Uh, second questions basically, this question came from p to the power six divided by p cube minus one by p cube. Partially divide we can. Then taking LCM, we will get this result. This is nothing but p cube. And here we can write p one by whole cube. So a cube minus b cube formula simplification, we will get the result. That means this is the hidden base of basically this one a cube minus b cube formula and its simplification result is this one. So we have to give attention. What is the requirement? Before writing this answer, you have to find p minus one by p. Because here in writing a formula, a cube minus b cube, you have to apply here a minus b whole cube plus a into a minus b. That's why first step we need p minus one by p. Okay, students, uh, we can start it. From question number a, we get P plus one by P equal to two root over six. According to question demand, we have to find P minus one by P. So definitely we can start from formula we know. We know, we know. After doing the calculation, there will be 20. So P minus one by P square is 20. Definitely P minus one by P, this is square shifted in the right side. It one will be plus minus square root. Okay, now by using calculator, you can write here two root over five. Technically, we have to choose here positive value because reason is given here. In the question P is greater than one, which indicate us one by P must be <clears throat> less than one because P is greater than one like three. So one by three must be smaller than one. So if we compare these two number, P must be greater than one by P. So definitely P minus one by P should be positive. 
positive because this is the greater than one by p. So now p minus one by p is positive value. Okay, according to the question requirement, uh, here we can write p to the power six minus one divided by p cube partially divide and arranging like formula a cube minus b cube uh, using the formula a minus b whole cube plus three ab into a minus b. By using calculator easily, you can write the answer. Just let me review this one, how we can find two cube means eight, two multiply, two multiply, two. And root over five cube, root over five cube, root over five cube means root over five, multiply root over five, multiply root over five. So here root over five, whole square, multiply root over five, square root eliminating, that means five root over five, and this is five root over five. So five, uh, eight is a 40 root, say 46 root five plus six root five, that is the 46 root over five, and this is our answer. So I think now first three question done. Uh, the second, second question done. Okay, let me review the next question, question number C. Uh, this types of question uh, in this year, basically this types of question you have to answer test exam, P-test exam and board standard exam. So if you uh, memorize the technique in times of plus P to the power five, one by P to the power five, first step without any doubt, you can find the value of P square and pq plus one by pq. Separately, you can find these two value. When this, if this symbol is negative, like if, then one will be positive, another will be negative. Also, you can write this one is positive, then this one must be negative in case of negative sign, but here given the positive sign. So definitely no doubt, find the two positive, like p square plus one by p square, pq plus one by pq. Then we will do multiply here. Okay, uh, question number C, this is okay. From A, we can get first step finding square, P, P square plus one by P square equal to 22. In the same way, by using the formula of Q, we will find the Q one, and this is result is 42 root of our six. According to question demand, now we have to multiply first part multiply second part, the result of first part multiply result of second part. Here multiplication, P square multiply with the whole term and one by P square multiply with the whole term and this is right side multiplication. Uh, if we do multiplication here, like P square multiply with P cube, the, they have the same base P, definitely index must be added. And P square multiply one by P. So this should be multiplied with the numerator. Single one, it's okay. In the same way, this is fraction, this is fraction. So numerator multiply numerator, denominator multiply denominator. And here this is inside this one, this will be numerator. So uh, now by using calculator successively, uh, another with the divide by P and there is P. So P plus one by P value to root over six, and we can shift to root over six in the right side. This one will be minus and doing calculation this one and the remaining this one and this one. We can take the LCM in between them. P to the power five is LCM, doing the multiply then plus one, then do the cross multiplication. You will get the same result. Okay, now successively after doing calculation, uh, just you can move in the given requirement p to the power 10 minus 922 root over six p to the power five plus one equal to zero, which is our requirement. Okay, and now this is three questions from chapter three. And now next question and last question, this is from chapter two. Let me review the question. Uh, the relations, actually, the relations of algebraic students, Kaelin Chakma, the students of class 10 has made the state of A and A is the set whose elements is the factors of 12. Definitely you have to write down the factors and then find the relation and with the relation is another given. And from the relation, you have to find the domain and range. Okay, first step, factors of 12. Uh, factors of 12, easily, if we write here, let me review this thing, okay. Now, factors of 12, like 12 is equals to one multiply 12, two multiply six, 
and three multiply four. These all are the factors of dual. So one, two, three, four, six and 12. And this relation is given in the question. Y should be one more than X. That means Y is the one plus X. So for different values of X, X come from A and also Y from A. So we can start it for X is elements of A, find the value of Y is equals to one plus X. So uh, there are total six value of X, one, two, three, four, five, six, and X, there is a relation Y equal to one plus X. So when X equal to one, then Y will be one plus X equals to one plus one is equals to two. So in the same way, we can find all value here. But in the question requirement, why is the elements of A in the relation this is given here? But five, this is not the elements of A. Seven, this is not the elements of A. 13, this is not the elements of A. They are not elements of O. So this set, this pair is not the elements of R because there are one single element is not the elements of set A. So whole relation, they cannot be part in the relation R. That's why this one pair, two pair, and the third pair is not the elements of R. So remaining three pair, one, two, one, two, two, three, three, four. And by using, we can break the relation. This is our answer. So now we all know from the relation, all first elements are called the domain and must be included in second bracket, all second elements called the range. And this is our answer. So very easy and simple question, just step by step, you can write here answer. Dear students, usually I'm trying to write down the solution very easily and effective way. If you have any question or any suggestion, please let me know. Inshallah, hope to see you all in the next assignment and wish you all the best. And don't forget to subscribe, Triangular Kamal. I'm really committed to you and to give the best suggestion by mathematics and science and others, mathematical terms. Okay, hope to see you all. Assalamu alaikum.